Hi. In this video, I will help you to learn how you can import Cisco Nexus image in EVENG simulator. First of all, you must have VMware Workstation software installed on your desktop or laptop. Also must have EVENG simulator installed on top of VMware Workstation. If you are new to this and haven't installed or used the VMware Workstation and EVENG simulator before, please do watch my previous video for more knowledge. I will leave the corresponding video link in the description box for your reference. Let's see how you can import Cisco Nexus image in simulator. To import the image in the simulator, you need to have SFTP software installed on your desktop or laptop. It could be any software like FileZilla or WinSCP. In this video, I will be using WinSCP software to upload the image in the EVENG simulator. Before uploading the image in EVENG, you must keep the few things remember. For example, what would be the directory or path where a Cisco image can be stored? And, can you use the raw image in EVENG simulator and make it functional? Or any guideline to be followed before uploading the Cisco Nexus image in EVENG simulator? The EVENG simulator provides the flexibility to support variety of images, however, it doesn't mean all the images can be loaded in same folder or raw image can be used in EVENG simulator. So you need to find the right folder for the Cisco Nexus image. The EVENG simulator usually stores all KVM supported images in KEMU folder, however, the image cannot be stored directly in KEMU folder. The EVENG simulator provides the flexibility to create dedicated folder for each vendor images and folder name must meet the guideline according to EVENG software. So, first thing is very clear, you need to create a folder in KEMU folder. Another important point is, the EVENG simulator doesn't support raw image and if you somehow imports the raw image in write folder, then it won't be functional anyhow because the image will not be readable by simulator. So this part is also clear, you need to convert the raw image into specific format so that the image will be operational in simulator. Let's see how you can successfully import the image in EVENG simulator and make the image operational. Open VMware Workstation and turn on the EVENG simulator. Wait until you can see the IP address for EVENG simulator on the screen. Now open WinSCP software and fill the required information, like IP address of the EVENG simulator and login credentials for root login. The default username is root and the default root password is eve. Leave the remaining things unchanged. Verify the information supplied for SFTP connection for EVENG simulator. If you are sure the information supplied are correct, click on the login button. It will usually provide the access for the root directory of EVENG software. Now what you have to do it, you have to browse the path where you need to upload the Cisco Nexus image. If you are unsure about the path and naming convention of the image and folder, please visit the EVENG website. Click on Documentation. Now you will see multiple options in left-hand side panel. Click on the option Supported Image. You can see, the simulator supports variety of images for multiple vendors. And if you scroll the page little bit down, you will notice, the simulator also supports Cisco Nexus images. Now at the left-hand side, click on the option, Chemu Image Namings. The first thing you will notice, it will tell you where to store the image in the simulator. It also has some other guidelines that need to be followed. The same has been explained earlier. As I told you, 
The software won't allow you to import the image directly in the Kemu folder. You have to create a folder for the respective image, and then you can import the image in the folder. Let's see, what could be a folder name for the Cisco Nexus image? Scroll the page little bit down, and you will see the folder name that can be used for Cisco Nexus image. One thing to be noticed. Before the dash or minus symbol, these characters must be same. And post the dash or minus symbol, it could be version number or build number or anything. So you have finally figured out the directory path where you have to store the image. Also, folder name that helps to operate the Cisco Nexus switch in EVENG simulator. Now what could be the Cisco Nexus image name to be used so that Nexus switch can operational properly in simulator? Just scroll the page little bit up and you will see the simulator supports QCOW2 image or KVM based images. A part of QCOW2 images, it does not support any image extension in this simulator, especially when you are importing the image in Kemu folder. You can verify the same on EVENG website. Let me take you through. Click on the option, How To. Scroll the page little bit down, and click on Cisco Nexus 9000 V switch. You can see more detail about the image naming convention, and some other detail. Well, I have QCOW2 image for Cisco Nexus 9K switch, and will import the same in simulator. I will share the drive link for your reference, and you can download the image using the drive link. Let me quickly download the image from the Google Drive. Now back to the WinSCP software, let me quickly log in EVENG simulator using the root credentials. What you have to do it, in the heft hand side section, browse the path for your Nexus image, and right hand side section, browse the path for Kemu folder. Under the Kemu folder, create a new folder. Make sure, the naming convention should be correct, as I explained. Once the folder is ready, upload the QCOW2 image in it. You can simply drag the image from your local directory to folder. Once the image is uploaded in the folder, open a terminal session for simulator and execute this command. Please execute this command at least two or three times. Now, it's time to validate whether the image is operational in EVENG simulator. Login on EVENG Simulator. The default username is admin, and default password for this is Eve. Now, create a new lab using any jargon, and click Save. Right click on the white space, and click on Node. Scroll the template section down, and search the Nexus 9K image section. If the Cisco Nexus image section is grayed off, it means there could be an issue with image, folder naming convention, or image naming convention. Please watch the video carefully and repeat the process. If all good. Load the image for operation. Right click on the device icon and click on button, start. 
if the device does not turn on. It means there could be an issue with image folder naming convention or image naming convention. Please watch the video carefully and repeat the process. If all good, open the terminal window and access the device remotely. The image boot up process will take some time and provide the prompt. During the boot up process, it asked me to secure the console login with password. And the same password used to log in on Nexus Switch. One more important thing, how to prevent Nexus 9K from dropping into bootloader. As soon as you set up your Cisco Nexus 9000, you need to configure the boot image in your system to avoid dropping into the bootloader after reload shutdown. Use these commands and permanently set the image location in bootflash and save the config. I hope you enjoyed this video. If the video is worth watching for you, then please subscribe my channel and leave your comments, and I'll see you on the next video.